Sports. The impact of the gridlock in Washington has trickled down to the Corps of Engineers here in Mobile. The agency announced today its regulatory office is closed due to lack of federal funding. Local 15's Tammy Bray spoke with officials today. Now, Tammy, offices will not reopen until lawmakers in Washington strike a deal. That's right, Kim. The regulatory office will be closed, and all the people who work there will be at home waiting for a deal. Everything from parks staffed by Corps Rangers to projects that require Corps approval will be on hold. We've been operating on prior year funds for our regulatory office, and those funds ran out as of today. The doors are now locked at the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Regulatory Office. More than two dozen people were sent home. We have 28 people in our regulatory office, and they were all furloughed today at noon. Pat Robbins is the spokesperson for the Corps. He says the regulatory office keeps the permits moving. Everything from work in the wetlands to projects on beaches could be affected. We probably have close to 50 to 100 ongoing at any given time. Some of the Corps' essential functions, like overseeing ports and dams, will continue, but more branches could be shuttered as well if the shutdown lasts. As funds start to run out in those prior year appropriations, then more and more people will be furloughed if this continues. You may remember that Plain South Cap pipeline was one of the projects permitted by the Corps of Engineers. Officials tell us those permits are already finalized, so this will not play into that project at all. Live in the newsroom, Tammy Braze, Local 15 News. Tammy, thanks. Well,